stop what you're doing and watch this video because you're not going to want to miss out on this info. What's up everyone, welcome to the Poker Rage channel and today I'm going to be telling you why you need to invest in Pokemon 151. Um, I'm going to call it right now, I'm going to say that this set is probably going to be the best set of the year. Um, only because with Scarlet and Violet completely lacking in the cards, the wow factor. This is it. It's the first set since I want to say base set to complete, to completely feature all 151 original Pokemon. Um, and the best part about this is that you're going to get all new artwork for each and every single one of them. Um, now, I know by now we've all seen the leaks about the illustration rares and all of that, which are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, these, especially the starter Pokemon, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, each one tells a story, which I love. I personally love the story cards that come out. Um, but the fact that the starters each have their own story is going to, I think, obviously appeal to most, if not all. Another thing too is say that you completely missed out on the original base set. You know, maybe you weren't born yet. Maybe by now you got back into it, but now the packs are way too expensive. Um, this is a great way to kind of relive the past and be like, hey, I'm collecting when this game first came out. So. With that being said, more and more people, I think, are going to want want this product. It's not just going to be kids, it's going to be adults who want to try and finish what they started when they were younger. We finally get to see the return of Kadabra. It's been 20 years since that Pokemon has been on a card. And now that the legal battle is over with, you know, all of that, we finally get to see Kadabra. I mean, I don't think... They're not going to have it as any special illustration rare, but the fact that it's just going to be part of the regular, um, like, I guess, base set before special illustration rares, um, it's going to be pretty awesome to see. We also have a new type of card, um, or I guess a new pattern for a card. So we, obviously we have the reverse hollows. Those are still going to be in it. But now they're going to have, instead of just the Pokeballs, we're going to have the master balls on the reverse hollow now who knows how common these things are going to be but the fact that they're introducing a new set or a new type of card um i think it's going to be nice to have now for all you master set collectors out there i'm just going to say this good luck um i do not know how you're going to be able to complete this because if every card gets that master ball set or master ball card you're gonna have a so you're gonna have the base card, the reverse Pokeball, and then the reverse master. That's insane. Um that I don't I couldn't even tell you what's that gonna bring that card set up to like over 350 cards, maybe. That's wild to me. Uh not happening. No, I can't do that. That's just way too much. But I mean it's pretty cool to see that they're introducing a new type of uh card to go along with this set. So in terms of English or Japanese. Right now, Japanese pre-orders. Um, I know Pokemon Center is trying to like deter scalpers. They're gonna do like made to order, so they can't buy in bulk. Like you can buy them, but they're only gonna make the order for that. And I don't know how well that's going to work. I know they're trying to discourage people from buying um, from all these scalpers out there. Unfortunately, I mean, I have bought two booster boxes for 145, so it's like probably triple than you know what the box is going for over in Japan but with that being said with English and Japanese I do think that the Japanese box is going to hold more value um, only because we know that the quality for J Japanese cards is far superior to English um, but when English comes out we're gonna have all this different types of products we're gonna have a new ultra premium collection which I'm pretty sure is gonna feature Mew um, we got Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes, and God knows when those sell out, we know there's gonna at least double in price within the first year. Um, and then, you know, what other product else they push out? But those two, the UPC 
and the elite trainer boxes from Pokemon Center are gonna be huge to grab um, I would wait so hopefully this set goes down in a little bit so obviously the set releases in a couple days and what's gonna happen <clears throat> eventually like a few weeks is hopefully that the price is going to drop once FOMO is done and everybody gets their boxes um, hell it might take a couple months I know V-Star took a while to drop now it's going back up hopefully they can get down to like hundred dollars a box and I could justify that more than 145 but as of right now I'm gonna stick with two Japanese booster boxes one for opening and one to keep sealed because I mean, check out my EV Heroes box. I've said this in a previous video. I bought that for $290. That box is now up to like $360, $370. Um, so, hold out. Be patient. Once you buy this product, do not open everything unless you can get it for cheap. Because I really do think that once that, once it stops printing, so I mean, it may be a while, but once that set stops printing, that those prices are going to skyrocket for 151, 100%. As I said earlier, we have some of the best artwork we've seen for these Pokemon in a while. Um, my favorite from the starters is going to be the Squirtle line, 100%. I mean, I, I just think that the the I'm more of a fan of water types anyway. I started with Squirtle, and when I had the when I got red. Um, so I just think with it, it's kind of cool. Like I said, each one tells a story. So Squirtle kind of starts off a little bit in the water, and then War Turtle is a little deeper, and then Blastoise just flat out like almost in like the abyss. It seems like very much surrounded by darkness. But um, I think the weakest is the Charizard line. I'm just gonna say it. It might be an unpopular opinion. The weakest is definitely the Charizard line. Um, Obviously, we see Charmander kind of slowly going up. And it's kind of the opposite of Squirtle here. But I just think the artwork, I don't think the Pokemon are featured too much in it. Um, it's just it's very small. Hell, it's even smaller than the Mew. Now, the Mew, I do like a little bit better because it kind of reminds me of Pokemon, the first movie, when you watch Mew and he's very playful, um, kind of almost innocent like. You know, he, he kind of hangs around and messes with Mewtwo a little bit, but it's kind of like, you know, you see the child-like charm in the new artwork. It's just kind of, you know, there's children obviously there, just kind of floating around, Look, it looks really happy. Now with the Mewtwo um, artwork, I think it's kind of like a revamp of the Pokemon Go uh, artwork. I mean, they're both set in the city, um, I, but I do like that the, the, it's like more like a, a drawing obviously of the new 151 Mewtwo um, but I mean, they're still both uh, looking over a city and it just seems obviously the card is darker and it looks more like Mewtwo style whereas the other one was like he almost looked like a float in a parade or something I don't know with those two cards I think are gonna be big hits the so Mewtwo might be easier only because it's not a secret art rare it's just an art rare so more people will definitely be able to grab that and it'll definitely be cheaper so if you're looking to get that card just wait a bit i think it'll drop only because the mew will definitely be harder to pull and so you're going to be spending more money on the mew than you are on youtube <laughs> my second to last thought about this set why is going to be huge is scarlet and violet as a whole the set sucks um not many people are into this. I mean, you, you look at the Japanese booster boxes, they were going for a lot more than the English ones. I mean, the Miriam's card, the Miriam card, the Dendrid card, they were all like $1,000, $800, whatever. And now when they came over to English, they were, they're what, 60 bucks. Um, Dendra's, I, I haven't looked at Dendra prices in a bit, but... Um, I know they're not nearly as much as their Japanese counterparts. I think Obsidian Flames is going to be kind of like a prelude into 151, only because, right, they're featuring Charmander. You already got the Charizard and Dragonite on the booster packs, but I think that set is going to be, hey, this is cool, but guess what? We got 151 with all the Pokemon that you grew up with. So definitely more and more people will buy that 
It's going to start with Obsidian Flames and then move on to 151. So my last point is just do not miss out on this opportunity. Um, I know it's going to be hard. Like I'm sure hopefully pre-orders kind of stay at around the same prices like these Scarlet and Violet ones. Um, hopefully you can get a deal on that. But I'm telling you right now, if you do not pick up any of this stuff, like before it comes out, if you can, if you can get pre-order stuff, you're going to be kicking yourself if you don't get it, because it's only going to go up from here. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See you later.